Just days after testifying against the company, whistleblower John Barnett was found dead in South Carolina. The Charleston County Coroner's Office telling the BBC the 62-year-old died from a self-inflicted wound. The court was planning for Barnett to answer more questions on Saturday, but he did not appear as planned. The BBC reporting that he was later found dead in his truck, which was parked in a hotel parking lot garage. Barnett was employed by Boeing for over three decades before retiring in 2017. Boeing told Fox Business that the company is saddened by Barnett's death. They're saddened by his death? They're saddened by his death, bull. I call bull. They caused his death. I think Boeing caused this man's death. This man been working for the company for 30 years, y'all. 30 years. All of a sudden, he testifies against them. We're not talking about a little mom and pop store. This is Boeing. They supply majority of all airplane companies all over the world Alaska which we know that's the flight that the door opened Delta all of these companies are spirit all of these companies are billion dollar companies and Boeing is a multi billion dollar company that supplies planes to them without Boeing there wouldn't be any airports with, with planes because there's only two. There's Boeing and there's another one. I forgot the name, but there's another one. But but, but Boeing is, is a monopoly. It, it basically, you know, everybody gets planes from Boeing. So this man died. This man died in a parking lot. At the airport. Days before. He was supposed to testify. Days before. He was supposed to testify. Again. If y'all. See me. The thing about me. I believe in movies. I believe. What happens in movies. Like I watch movies like Jason Bourne. You know, the born identity. You know, I watch me I watch movies like sci-fi, you know, movies used to watch back in the day, you know, with flying cars, you know. And now a lot of things that happen in movies comes to life. Star Trek. Remember they was talking on the phone? Remember they was talking on the phone? That was a FaceTime they was doing. That was FaceTime. Remember Star Trek? Remember when they used to be touching the screen and moving the screen? Now we have tablets and computer screen where we can move the items on the screen like they did in Star Trek. There's movies with flying cars. They said now we got flying cars. There's flying cars that do exist in real life. It's just not, you know, on mass production. But there's flying cars that do exist. You know, a lot of things that happen in the movies that we see in the movies, it comes for light. It comes to the light. And I believe these corporations, they got Guys, they got a squad of guys. They got a unit that nobody else knows about but a few people. That only, only people that's part of the corporation that's deep in the corporation. We talking about they deep in the corporation. They in the end, they in the black market part of the corporation. And they know the group of guys. They know that team. They know that team to call when it's time to get their hands dirty. It's time to get somebody poisoned. While they out with their family. Sitting out on the beach. You drinking your ginger ale. 
your gin, your ginger ale and your gin, and you you tasting it like, hmm, mm, tastes a little sour today. It don't taste a little sour today. They poisoned you. Bowen poisoned you. They got rid of this guy, man. They got allegedly, I, I would say. You remember, I, this is not facts. This is not truth. I don't know. You know, I'm just talking. I'm just talking my opinion and everything is alleged. Everything I say is alleged. But this is my take on it. I mean, I don't see much YouTubers talking about this. A man, a man disappeared after he testified for a billion dollar company that stock price is going down because they they did cutbacks on airplane production. He was testifying that the materials they cut back on the good materials and started using the cheap materials. He testified and was supposed to go back and testify and he never made it. He died right in that parking lot. Shame on you, Boeing. Allegedly. <laughs>